What's up, Sensi fans? It's Patricia, and today it's another Tester Tuesday video. Today, as always, we will be discussing two Sensi scents. I will review them and how the scents perform for me in the hopes that that might help you decide if the scent's going to work for you. So last week, we had 334 votes that came in on time. And in first place, we have this orange colored wax. Now this, I think, had the most number of votes ever for one scent and the highest percentage, I think, ever for one scent. There's maybe one other scent that might have come close, which was my wish. But this, I think, is the leader now, and it is the scent Looney Tunes. 44% of the vote. So almost everybody voted for that. And in second place, I don't happen to have a wax bar, but this is the color of the used wax. I think it's discolored a little bit. And it's Frosted White Birch that came in second with 18% of the vote. So let's talk about our first place scent for the week. It is Looney Tunes. This is a licensed bar. It's currently available as I film this video. On cold sniff, it's about a medium, maybe medium plus, and I would definitely put it in the fruity. And the scent description is, a nostalgic Saturday morning splash of apple juice joins ripe red berries and sugared cherry to bring the Looney Tunes vibe home. So on cold sniff, this scent kind of surprised me a little bit because I smell almost like a tangerine heavy, tangy fruit drink. It wasn't as red berry and sugar cherry as I was expecting. It's more, it was more like apricot nectar and pineapple and maybe tangerine heavy and a little bit of apple juice for sure. Now there's something here in Canada that we used to have called beep. And it kind of reminded me of a variation of beep. And I looked at beep, I'll put a picture of it right here. It originally came out in the 1960s. It's actually the Petiter Dairy Company of my husband's work. So it says for the ingredients for Beep, it has water, sugar, and the juices are comprised of orange, apple, apricot, prune, and pineapple. I don't think there's a lot of prune in there, but it definitely has a little bit of a tang. So this kind of reminded me of Beep. Beep, plus you added a whole bunch of apple juice with the Beep because on warm, I really got the apple juice note. And it wasn't apple, it was apple juice, which is tangy, sweet, a little bit warm, that kind of note. It reminds me a lot of the apple juice note that I picked up in Scarlet Sunflower. So there's no obviously floral note in this, but if you could take the apple juice from Star Scarlet Sunflower and mix it with a bunch of other fruit medley juices, you, that are, it's a little bit tangy, Almost like there's not honey in it, but you know how honey has that warm, tangy, rich undertone? There's a little bit of that going on in the background. So hard to explain, but that's what I got. So let me tell you, I used four cubes out of the uh, eight, and I actually have another full bar that I picked up in my haul. So I took two of these cubes and put it in my daughter's room. She has the Moon over Jupiter warmer. Strength and throw is about seven out of 10. I left it going on day one, 20, 20, uh, I say day one, but it was like a 25 hour time frame. And I felt like at the end of day one, it was still fairly strong. I would say like six out of 10. Day two, I, I only had time to let it go five hours. And it was probably like five out of 10. And day three, I had it going only three hours. I just couldn't get it to scent the room. So I kind of say between 30 and 33 hours for two cubes, which I think is, is really good for a fruity scent. And in Ryan's room, I took two cubes and put it in his Spider-Man warmer. And strength and throw was a little bit higher there because it's a bigger, excuse me, a smaller room. So it was seven and a half, but I left it going the exact same time frame and everything seemed to mimic what happened in my daughter's room. So I think if you're someone that likes Scarlet Sunflower, but you say to yourself, I wish there wasn't any floral in Scarlet Sunflower, I'd like it a lot better. If you're a true fruity fan, then you might really like Looney Tunes. Give it a try. If you're someone that likes skinny dipping, you may also like this because there's a similar tanginess to it that that kind of relates them a little bit. I think you could probably warm this anywhere in your home. It might be a little risky in an open concept because it's not quite strong enough in my home to try it in an open layout. I will probably use up the rest of the cubes in my kids' room because they really like fruity scents. But one thing I wanna highlight before we move on to the next one is my buddy Etta, she commented that since he kind of missed the boat in doing like a cereal scent for this. Now, when you read the, the notes, it says a nostalgic Saturday morning splash 
and then it talks about brings the Looney Tune vibes home. But but I think this reads less like a fruity cereal, which I don't think they were going for, but that's what might have worked a little bit better. Instead, they kind of went, went with like a fruity medley drink. So will I re be repurchasing more? I mean, I have this much, so I think I'm good. And I was surprised at its longevity. I was impressed with that. And I think that the fruity lovers are gonna love this one. That's Looney Tunes. All right, let's talk about our second place scent for the week. It is Frosted White Birch. I have testers of this. It's been a while since I've used the testers. <laughs> I have five testers. And on Cold Sniff, this is a pretty light scent. I would say light, maybe up to like a medium light. It was last available in January 2020's Bring Back My Bar, which I did experience that. And I would put it in the woods or a woods fresh category, but really it's kind of like a masculine cologne scent. So I would categorize this as like a masculine fresh, a little bit wintry cologne scent. So the scent description for Frosted White Birch, it says a cool breeze of peppermint frost, eucalyptus and lavender gently warms to blonde woods, fir needle, and amber. So they talk about peppermint frost eucalyptus. Those I think are what gives the little bit of the bright airy tone to this. It's really hard to say, oh, there's peppermint and oh, there's eucalyptus, but it gives that airy uplifting kind of note. Lavender, I think they use lavender in a lot of things that we don't know about. I think it just provides complexity as well. And blonde woods is kind of like a warm, gentle wood. I think they use it a lot of colognes. Fur needle. It's hard, hard. This, uh, but I definitely think you could probably get amber in here. So this scent, it's not like you can pick out every individual note. It blends and harmonizes to give you frosted white birch. They don't mention birch in the scent description, but I think that if you can picture the birch tree and smell the bark of the birch, then I think you can imagine that that's part of this scent. All right. So in general, I, I would describe this as a masculine cologne scent, bright and airy with a little bit of wintry characteristics, fall winter characteristics. So my previous experience with frosted white birch, it wasn't so great. <laughs> I remember it being a light scent and I remember it warming it in my kid's bathroom, which usually means it didn't work the greatest. Now I actually went back and watched my old video from the Bring Back My Bar Warm Review. I really didn't like the scent. <laughs> I find it, it, it more t uh, tolerable now, but I really didn't like it. So just an example of how your scent, prefer scent preferences can come around a little bit. So back in that video, I said it was about four, maybe up to five out of 10, depending on where I warmed it. So I had this much wax. So I had this, this came out of my son's um, succulent warmer. And then I had the equal amount of wax in his honey pot warmer. So that's Drew's room downstairs. Drew's room does really well with scents. If a scent sucks there, then <laughs> I would say for me, it sucks. Well, unfortunately this scent did suck there. I would say it was about three out of 10 strength and throw. I would have to be within three to four feet of the warmer to kind of appreciate any kind of scent from it. And when I was that close, I still couldn't smell it very strong. So I left it going a full day just to give it a chance. And then I said, in Ramona's words, what does she say? You are dead to me or something. I don't know what she says. It's funny. Yeah, but this was dead to me. It's funny, I took it out of the warmer, I smelled the bottom. You could still kind of smell the bottom, but it wasn't throwing. So that's my experience with that. I think if you're someone that likes light masculine cologne scents, you would probably like Frosted White Birch. If you experienced the scent Cambridge, but thought, oh my God, that is way too strong, <laughs> then Frosted White Birch might work for you because I feel like this is somewhat related to Cambridge, a little bit more wintry or fall-like, and then intensity scaled way down. And the other, the other scent it reminds me of is that frosted birch Yankee candle, and also Yankee's A Calm and Quiet Place. So kind of along that line. I would say small room scent for this for sure, bathroom, very small dorm room, something like that. You might need to put extra cubes in. That's definitely a possibility. And for me, this is not a recommended scent, mainly due to its performance. I don't I don't tend to not recommend scents based on scent appeal if I don't like something. That's just a personal thing. But if it's a really light performer and it doesn't seem to throw, 
I would say um, it's not something I would advise you to vote back and bring back my bar. Now, the thing is, I have a feeling people really like this. Perhaps it's just it doesn't work well for me. So comment below if you've had better experience with this one. Just so other people can gauge. But yeah, not a repurchase, not one that I'd vote back for Bring Back My Bar, and not a good performer for me. That is Frosted White Birch. All right, so now we are moving to the portion where I'm going to draw six cents from a box. That's not here. <laughs> and you guys are going to vote for two different cents by early Wednesday morning. The, the best way to think about Tester Tuesday is try to vote on Tuesday. <laughs> so even if you're in a different uh, country, Tuesday is going to put you in the ballpark. So I have six cents in bar form here, and these are all limited time offer cents. So let's switch things up and see what you guys want to hear about. Now, if you can't vote on YouTube, find my Instagram. It's Patricia Gates and put your two votes there. All right. First three cents are from the Nightmare Before Christmas lineup. So set number one is going to be Halloween Town. Oh, it kind of matches. <laughs> set number two is Jack's Obsession, The Nightmare Before Christmas. Set number three is Roll of the Dice. I think I, I put Roll the Dice, but it definitely says Roll of the Dice. The next three are from the Harvest Collection. So set number four is Cranberry Pumpkin Spice. Set number five is Orchard Apple and Spice. And set number six is Toasted Acorn and Oak. So, two votes each. Mix and match. Don't do two of the same, please. I can't wait to see what you guys vote for this week. Please take care and stay safe, and I will see you guys in the next video.